wanted to really focus on the work that she started and continues to do. And I think what's great is that you started this not really knowing where it was going to go. Right? Yeah. And, yeah. and it's gone to places I'm sure you didn't imagine. And I'm sure if we have this conversation in 10 years, it'll be in some other place. I know. Yeah. But the, the great thing is, is that if we start something, we never know who it's going to touch. But right now, it's going to touch somebody because we all need help. And so the Good Plus Foundation of oh, Good Plus equals good stuff. Uh, yeah, that's so great. I want to thank you for moving for Patrick. As you can see, he's right here. <laughs> okay. No, I, I did it because I moved it because I didn't want to anticipate being on one of these all day because I'm so nervous. Oh, well, don't be nervous. You did great. You can't believe how many uh, people who have big companies can't organize the Instagram live. They have bad connections. So you did great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Thanks, everyone. Yes, and thank you for work. doing this. Look at how many people you just told yes. about what we're doing. Now, how many people will be helped because of you. So thank you. Well, thank you. I think we're all, I think the reason to have these platforms is to shine lights on things that are going on that are good. I mean, you I are. why else should we have it, right? You are the best at it. Thank so. you, Jess. Thank you so much. Go thank you for having day. me again. Okay, yeah. thank you. Bye. So the Good Plus Foundation, um, the extraordinary work that they are doing on the front lines of humanity. I talk a lot about the front lines of humanity. That's home health care workers, people like the Good Plus Foundation, uh, our doctors, our nurses, our caregivers. Really, so many of us are working on the front lines. And that's why I like to try to use this platform to shine a light on the work that so many people are doing. And having worked in media for so long, oftentimes they don't want to do this. So I feel like, wow, I have my own platform now and I can shine a light on all the great work uh, that people out there are doing. And there is so much great work being done in our country. Uh, I don't want you to ever lose sight of all of the good being done in our country. Uh, it's incredible, people starting diaper drives, um, food drives, medical supply drives, helping fathers, helping mothers, helping kids, helping seniors, uh, the list goes on. So I don't want, you know, we hear all the time about what's wrong in our country. And there is, as she said, a lot that's wrong. Um, but there is a lot that each of us can do to make something right. So um, I want to thank her. She's always been a great supporter of the Sunday paper. And um, I think, you know, it's really great the work she and everybody at the Good Plus Foundation is doing. And if you know some great organizations that um, we should be shining a light on, either here or in the Sunday paper, the Sunday paper um, really started as a way of shining a light on architects of change doing great stuff every day. So send me ideas, uh, send me organizations that are doing great work that I can recommend to others that I can shine. Lotus House Miami. I've heard of Lo Lotus House Miami. Thank you for that idea. Um, we'll try to get in touch with Lotus House Miami. I've heard, my sister-in-law told me that they do great work uh, in uh, Miami doing uh, incredible work. So that's a great idea. Thank you so much. Um, article in Buffalo paper saying ordinary people are sh showing up as leaders how to act with love. I love that. Please send me that article. I want to include that in the Sunday paper. I love that. Um, I believe that. I believe each of us can lead in our families, at our kitchen tables, in our homes, in our neighborhoods, and we can lead with love. We can lead the way we talk to people, the way we interact with people. That's leadership. The way um, if you work with one or two or three people and you have a small business, you're a leader. If you have a family, you're a leader. Uh, your kids watch what you do. As Jess said, her mom was a social worker. People emulate people they admire People show up for people that they admire and they want to um, do things uh, to make themselves feel good and to help other people. So we believe that each and every one of us 
is an architect of change. Uh, Sunday is World Baking Day. Wow, I did not know that. So uh, we have a great baker actually on the Sunday Paper Live on Sunday morning. Right here, Sunday morning, 9 a.m. West Coast time. We have a great baker coming up. You'll be surprised. Um, so thank you for uh, your comments about uh, this being a good space to see leaders and to lead by example. Um, so once again, in every way, how we make our food, you can be a leader. Uh, how you parent, you can be a leader. Um, everything, Christina Tossi, yes. Oh, you know who we're having. Oh, gosh, somebody knows, that's right. She's coming on on Sunday, along with Marlo Thomas and Phil Donahue and some other guests and um, Martha Stewart. Yes, she's gonna come, I think in a week or two. Um, and so uh, show us uh, good ideas, give us good ideas. Make sure you subscribe to the Sunday paper. If you like these conversations, please subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can watch them. It's all free. Um, Papa's Pantry. Um, I don't know that, so we'll have to look into that. And I don't know where Patrick is, but wherever he is, I hope he's having a great time. And uh, I hope all of you, uh, I know for many, many millions of us, this is a really difficult time of all ages. So I want you to know we're thinking about you. Um, we try to use this space and this place to bring joy, uh, to make you feel seen, to make you feel valued, and to bring you content uh, that inspires you, motivates you, uh, makes you feel like you are not alone. Um, that's what we're trying to do here. So thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend. And remember the Good Plus Foundation. Thank you.